Good morning, Mount Carmel area, and welcome to this edition of MCA Live. I'm Luke Deusman. And I'm Kayla Witt. Here's today's announcements that are MCA Live stories. Today is Thursday, September 19th, Day 5. Homeroom will be extended this morning as students will be voting for homecoming court candidates. Attention seniors, as part of the school-wide positive behavior program, any senior in good standing may sign up to be eligible to enjoy lunch in the courtyard tomorrow. This is limited to 25 students in lunches B or C, so seniors sign up in the CAF today for a chance at lunch in the courtyard tomorrow. The Art Club is having its first meeting today at 2.20 in room 105. Don't forget, the Internet Club is selling red t-shirts for the October 11th football game against North Schuylkill. Order forms and money are due tomorrow, September 20th. Seniors will meet right after school every day this week in room 227 to work on the homecoming banner. Homecoming banner making is taking place now and students are reminded to check with class advisors for location and times to help. Any senior who is interested in a career with PennDOT should check in the principal's office. The senior class is also taking orders for MCA's school spirit t-shirts. Cost is $13 and orders are due to the class advisors by October 11th. Seniors are asked to bring their baby pictures for the yearbook to room 216 no later than October 17th. Any student in grades 10th, 11th, or 12th who would like to be a peer mediator can pick up an application in the office. Applications are due back to Mrs. Lebeski by Wednesday, September 25th. The class of 2017 is selling pencils at the front desk. Cost is 25 cents for regular pencils and 50 cents for lead pencils. And here's today's news. On Wednesday, August 28th, Mount Carmel area alumni Cassandra Neglio and Cassie Mace visited the high school to inform students about an important upcoming event. The Four Diamonds Minithon 12-Hour Dance Marathon will take place at the high school on September 28th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. to raise money for pediatric cancer. Minithon is patterned after Penn State's Thon event, which has taken place since 1977 to help find a cure for this fatal disease. Minithon is a nationwide event and more than 15,000 students and 100 schools from across Pennsylvania alone are involved and MCA is next. To date, PA schools have raised more than $7 million for the kids, with totals continuing to increase. Mount Carmel area's goal is to raise $5,000. A $15 donation per individual includes admittance to all activities and an event t-shirt to wear that day. All money raised will be donated to the Four Diamonds Fund. Team and individual forms are available at the Mount Carmel Area High School or by calling 205-8526. Deadline to register is September 6th. Another new teacher who has joined the MCA staff is Ms. Kristen Clock. Ms. Clock graduated from Southern Columbia High School and recently received her bachelor's degree at Bloomsburg University. She teaches advanced algebra 2, college algebra, and trigonometry. Her interests include playing sports, running, shopping, and spending time with friends and family. The doors will be open to those who are bold enough to knock is one of her favorite quotes. Ms. Clock has an open door policy and students are always welcome if they have questions. Welcome to MCA, Ms. Clock. Students involved in the studio work hard each day, whether it's taking photos at the soccer games, recording the Friday night football games, or broadcasting MCA Live. None of this would be possible without the donations made by our supporters. Donations from our sponsors, fundraising, and the Mount Carmel Area Education Foundation, WKMC-TV, was able to upgrade our technology. Some of these updates include a new generator for remote broadcasts, two new Mac computers for the control room, and a new broadcast trailer. Here at WKMC, we'd like to thank our underwriters for their continued support, which includes the Academy Sports Center, Archie's Shoes, Community Pharmacy, Family Home Medical, Hollywood Pizza and Bakery, Star Physical Therapy, and Union National Bank. Don't move a muscle, we'll be right back with sports. That sounds awful. Seriously, awful. But a lot better than last week. Two of our MCA fall sports teams co-opt with Our Lady of Lourdes. Today we'll take a look at those teams. The girls volleyball team co-opts with Lourdes and is back in action. Head coach Tom O'Brien and assistant coaches Tyra Bregenster and Brian Gummel are hoping to grab a few wins this year and finally come together as a team. Senior captains are Mount Carmel area's Darla Hood and Lourdes Peyton Cumbara. Other players for MCA include seniors Brittany Gummel, Heather Raker, Desiree Malik, 
juniors, Aaron Chicatano, Amber Kogut, and freshmen, Julia ba Ballard, Jesse Sankevich, Sarah Nicola, and Haley Widener. The girls started off rough, but are determined to pick things up and pull for a win. They play tonight at Tamaqua, starting at 7 p.m. Good luck, ladies. Two of our MCA golfers co opt with Our Lady of Lords, and ironically, these are the only two players in both schools that play for Lords' golf team. Senior Bryce Fimoncini and sophomore Matt Avellino are the two sole players known to swing the clubs. In golf, you need to have the numbers to actually place in a match as a team, so with only two individuals, they play for personal bests. Last year, Bryce advanced to districts and played well. With districts just around the corner, he is looking to better his score and only needs an 86 or less to qualify. Districts are a two-day competition held October 3rd and 5th at Eagles Mare Country Club. Cuts will be made the first day, but should Bryce place high enough, he'll move on to the second day. Good luck to our MCA golfers for the rest of the season, and a special shout-out to Bryce Fimoncini in his quest for district gold. Back in 1963, Mount Carmel area's football team was led by quarterback Tom Byerschmidt and coached by Mr. Joseph Jazz Dimnick. Some notable players on that team were teams including Mike Chappell, Joe Greco, and Bobby Menapace, also Al Santos. Last Friday, September 13th, Mount Carmel area hosted a 50th year anniversary ceremony to celebrate that team's 10-1 record. The team's only loss came at the hands of Pottsville by a score of 14-6. Coach Dimnick remembers the contest as one of the team's wins or losses that might have easily been won. 14-6, and it was the only loss that year. When we had a touchdown in the end zone dropped, we had another back trip down, down the sideline, and uh, we could have de definitely won that and game. We had and we two of our guys tackle one another. <laughs> we had uh, Wilson, <laughs> Wilson, he yep. bust for going from left to right as you're in, in, in our, our bleachers, he's going for a touchdown. Our two guys come over and, and they miss them. They tackle, wound up smashing one another. Yeah, and scores. that was one of the touchdowns. But uh, that's a game that we very easily could have won, you know. Time with the help of the Big Red Band, the coaches and players were called to the field and recognized by fans old and new. Tornado fans came out to celebrate this milestone team. And for tonight's sporting events, Varsity Boys Soccer at Warrior Run starting at 4.30 p.m. Varsity Girls Soccer home against Loyal Sox starting at 4.30. Junior High Football hosts Bloomsburg at 5 p.m. Girls Volleyball at Tamaqua 7 p.m. You could also log on to YouTube and find the 1963 team on there for highlights. Back to you, Kayla, for more news. Thanks, Izzy, for the updates. Beginning on September 21st, all phone calls made in the 570 area code must use all 10 digits. The change is coming due to the lack of numbers left within the current area code, and 272 will be added in our area. Since this is a new area code, this is the six-month adjustment period before the code becomes entirely effective. At the end of the adjustment period, all calls require the 10-digit number in order for the call to go through. So, if you don't feel like talking to a machine, do it right the first time and dial all 10 digits. And for today's lunch. Breaded popcorn chicken bowl, mashed potatoes with gravy, corn, peaches, and low-fat milk. And for tomorrow's breakfast, pancake and sausage wrap, whole grain cereal, assorted bagels, and 100% juice. That's all for today, folks. Tune in tomorrow, bright and early. Same time, same channel. Make it a thrilling Thursday, MCA.